Hello, it's James from xrobots.co.uk. This is part 27 of my Hulkbuster Iron Man inspired suit, which is standing behind me. So I've done quite a lot of parts already. I've worked my way around this suit, which has got a wooden frame that I can climb into, unlock all the joints and walk around. I've been working my way around building 3D printed frame parts to actually hold the skins. Um, this week I'm gonna replace the hands, which I made very early on. They're made of foam with 3D printed parts stuck on. Um, and they are far too big really and they've also got five fingers or at least four fingers and um, one thumb on each hand um, they look overscaled most people think they look silly and it's um, high time that we replace them with something that looks a bit more like the Hulk Buster in the Age of Ultron trailer before we do that I need to give a shout out to Mark of Inkblot Creations have a look at Mark's eBay shop where he sells foam parts for building Iron Man suits and other things based on Pepecura files. Mark also has a YouTube channel of the same name, Inkblot Creations, and I'll put the link in the description to this video where you can see techniques and all of those things being assembled. So Mark is one of my Patreon funders. So if you'd like to have a look at my crowdfunding campaign, go to patreon.com slash xrobots where you can get some exclusive rewards, including access to a live broadcast with me. All right, so let's have a look at some CAD for these hands. Here is my design for one finger. So these are going to be hybrid prints in Ninja Flex and ABS plastic. The red parts are flexible, and these are going to be printed with dual extruders and all bonded together in one print. So the, the extruder will switch nozzles on each layer to merge the materials. So essentially there we've got two joints and there will eventually be another one at the base of each finger. Um, and we've got these pieces down here, which if I just shift one of these up, these are printed as separate parts and those are essentially going to have a pull string which I think is going to be Ninja Flex as well on each finger like a tendon that pulls through the middle of there and I've left holes in each one so I can stick a roller in if I want to but I haven't quite decided what it looks like yet it may just pull through the holes and be anchored to the end one so that should make a, a jointed flexible finger with rigid parts in some of the places now we're going to use this for two of the fingers on the hand and then we're going to make a wider version which I'm just going to scale up and we're also going to use this for the thumb so I need to get printing and print this out multiple times in multiple sizes This printer is busy doing its dual extruder print, so the front extruder is for Ninja Flex and the rear one is for ABS. And as you can see, that's putting down the different materials in different regions by switching material on each layer so that we can get the uh, rubber joints in the rigid ABS parts. I've printed over the last about two days enough parts here for both hands. So I've got these parts here for the, this is the wider middle finger, and obviously I've got the smaller ones for each side in the thumb. So these are quite bendy on the joints, and obviously the black parts are rigid and the red parts are rubber, so it bends only there, and that's gonna make quite a good finger. So um, as well as being in a bendy piece, which will be slightly less bendy at the base of the finger. So I've got all of those there, which are the, um, little pieces that hold a roller or the tendon pulls through and again I've attached those to each piece so obviously we can pull along there with a piece of string or a cord or some ninja flex and we can bend each finger. So um, I'm actually going to be redesigning the forearm as well so I need to attach these to something which will um, sort of hinge and allow the repulsor to be revealed so the hand is going to hinge back um, and that's got to interact with the forearm so I need to design the hand back and how the thumb is mounted, how the repulsor is mounted, and then work my way up the arm. So let's have a look at some more CAD. Starting to arrange the fingers here and the thumb, which is of course the same as one of the fingers, but mounted further back. And the round disc there is my temporary placeholder for the repulsor, which is going to be on the palm. So um, the fingers are actually naturally um, leaning back at an angle away from that repulsor and obviously they'll be pulled forward by the cord. Um, as well as the entire hand flipping up, which is what this hinge point is at the back here. So um, the hand plate in Hulkbuster appears to go all of the way up the arm and I'll be recreating those as well so they're more similar to the Age of Ultron Hulkbuster and getting rid of the ones that I've got. Um, in fact as well as that whole structure. So um, I don't know exactly how this works yet but I think what I'm going to do in, with my Hulkbuster is have that hand and forearm plate slide backwards and have this hand on a, effectively a four bar link so there'll be another linkage um, down there where the um, repulsor attaches 
and um, the, the two of those joints will allow the whole hand to swivel back and the hand plate to slide back up the forearm as it does so to reveal the repulsor so it can actually point forward a lot more. So I'm, I'm going to do this hand back print next and the hand back again is another hybrid print so if we just get rid of that finger section you can see that we've got basically um, an ABS part which bonds onto the existing ABS for the finger, the red flexible ninja flex part and then the ABS mount there with the hinge on. So again that's going to make the flexible base of the finger which itself is going to be partially covered by the hand plate until it slides back to reveal it. So um, that's going to be quite a long print and of course we need to do two of everything. So let me get that printed out as well. printed those and we can see obviously we've got that flexible red ninja flex region and the two black ABS regions and so that's quite bendy it's not too bendy and um, it's less bendy than the fingers um, and that's quite good because that's basically the joint of the base of the fingers and I don't want the hand to fold flat I only want a little bit of flex there and most of it in the fingers so I've actually put this hand together this is the left hand and I've added on a block which holds the thumb which I need to put on this hand and I've also added the sort of repulsor placeholder so the actual skins of this hand are going to come round this to reveal a much smaller repulsor but this is essentially a mounting part, a piece of the frame so we can see we've got the thumb mounted on there as well and um, we've kind of got the bendy fingers so let's go and offer that up next to the suit and see how the size is so this is the existing left hand and here is the replacement one so um, basically it's a kind of unit of the finger shorter and much more stumpy of course with three fingers it's not quite as wide either so it is um, on the whole smaller and the thumb is set back quite a lot more so um, obviously we've got the repulsor in the palm there and this is going to be sat slightly further back up the arm with a slightly shorter forearm um, and of course these fingers look very flat at the moment they are going to be covered with round shells um, for each section of the finger there so that the strings that pull them are well inside and they've got rounded backs and of course the hand plate will come up probably to cover the um, hinge at the base of the finger and as I said the hand plate needs to slide backwards to allow the, ha allow the hand to tilt so that it can do that typical Iron Man thing and you can see the repulsor in the palm so we've got those two hinge points we've got one there and one there so that should allow the palm to flip slightly as that hand plate slides back. I've decided to plan the forearm structure before I mount the hand to it and the um, back of the hand plate. So I've come up with this design which is basically two loops. One of them is bigger at the back than the other one. Um, and this is going to make the, the main forearm shaper to replace the ones that I have at the moment. Now I've put these um, hinge points in here and I think what I'm going to have in fact is a four bar link with um, offset lengths so that the back of the hand plate sort of flips up and outwards a bit like the shoulder pods do um, and in doing so flips the hand back slightly to reveal its repulsor so I need to get this printed out it's actually quite a big part and it's going to be divided into all of these pieces to fit on the print bed so all of these um, rings are divided into quarters and so on and all of the long parts are divided up and stuck back to back uh, with the seams overlapping and then I need to print this twice for both arms Here's most of the parts, as you can see these are not too large but fairly large, for instance this one goes to make one of the smaller rings, so I need to get all of these stuck together, so there's the two layers of the small ring, uh, or the big ring and the small ring in two layers, and then some straight pieces and then there's some more printing. Getting some of those parts acetone welded together, got these ones which have got obviously the seam lines offset so they're made of four pieces stuck together, very similar to my R2-D2 build. I've got the two large and small rings made together, so I'm hoping that's going to look pretty good 
that's sort of the cuff there which goes with the hand obviously the hand's going to be bolted out in both directions by shells or skins so I think that's looking about the right size so here is one frame which is all sorted so I'll just prop that up and obviously here is one hand which goes roughly on the end there so I think that's fairly well sized kind of hard to see but I'll um, stand up and wave it round in a moment Right, here we go. This is sort of the size of them. Hopefully you can see that. Obviously my arms won't actually be in the forearms any more than they are now. I've got no other way to hold them. So let's just have a closer look at one of them. So that's the sort of size. And then we're going to have this hand so that it flips. And you can see the repulsor. So compared to the ones that are here, the forearms are a bit more bulky. But they are, of course, a nice round shape. A lot more like Hulkbuster in Age of Ultron. And we've still got that hands plate and the plate to go up the back of the arm there that's going to hinge out as the hand flips. But unfortunately, due to the fact that I've had to do so much 3D printing on it this week, I've got no more time to make any more. So I'm going to continue with this in the next episode. So don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more updates on this project and other projects, including my 3D printed R2-D2, which you should check out. And also don't forget to check out my social media pages for more sneak peeks and updates on other projects.